Hey guys, Brian Goes Blue back here again with uh, another Blu-ray update. Uh, it's been a while since my last one, probably about five or six weeks, and I'm sorry about that. Doesn't mean that I didn't buy a lot of Blu-rays though, so um, let's just jump right into it. Uh, first up, uh, this one was from Amazon Germany. I picked this one up uh, relatively cheap. I've been waiting for a, you know, a Region A uh, USA release for this for a while. Uh, I really like this one, one of my favorite movies of all time. Ghost World with uh, Thor Birch, Scarlett Johansson, and Steve Buscemi. If you guys haven't che haven't uh, checked this movie out, just check it out. Um, it's from the same director as Bad Santa, so um, really, really, really funny movie. It's also got Brad Renfro in there. I know he died like a, probably about half a decade ago now, but anyways, Ghost World, real fun. Check it out. Up next, I have a title that is. Um, Probably, I think it's his first movie, but it's uh, Mike Myers and So I Married an Axe Murderer. Uh, really, really fun movie. If you guys haven't seen this movie, definitely check it out. You can kind of tell where um, Mike Myers got his roots in this. It was back in the early SNL days, I believe. And it also has Nancy Travis as his uh, girl in it. And he kind of just, um, he's a kind of a beat poet at this uh, crappy little dive bar. But, uh... He, he meets this girl and uh, he kind of finds out that she might be killing uh, all of her past boyfriends and he might be next. So, um, really, really funny movie if you haven't seen it. It's really dark comedy. If you like dark comedy, you'll like it. Uh, he plays his dad in this movie as well. And the voice that his dad uses is definitely the same voice that Shrek has and uh, Fat Bastard and all them. So, if you want to see where Mike Myers got to start, check this one out. Um, special edition... I don't think so, because it doesn't even have a fucking theatrical trailer on this, so. Uh, check out Soy Mary and Axe Murder if you have not. It's real good. Oh, that was a um, Go Hastings release, by the way. These are all, my next stack here is a all Go Hastings, it's for Ghost World. Um, next up, I have Dogma, Kevin Smith classic here. Need I Say More? Uh, one of my favorite Kevin Smith movies. Um, I think it goes, uh, for me, it goes Clerk, Small Rats, and then Dogma. Might be my third favorite Kevin Smith. But... If you haven't seen this movie, check it out. Real fun. Uh, next up, I have uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, Kate Winslet, uh, Sam Mendes movie. Uh, this one's Revolutionary Road. If you have not seen this movie, check it out. Uh, same director as American Beauty. Um, she even won a Best Actress from Golden Globe Awards here. Uh, Revolutionary Road, check it out. And these were all like three bucks, so great deals. Next I got a um, horror classic here. This one's uh, Stephen King's Children of the Corn. Uh, it's got Linda Hamilton in it as well. And uh, I have not seen this one in so long. It's been years since I've seen this one. Saw it when I was a kid. Uh, really liked it. Didn't really care too much for the sequels, but the original is always good. Children of the Corn. <clears throat> Next up we have um, a title I've been waiting to go down in price. So I found it used for 10 bucks. Without the slip, but the uh, first one that I have doesn't come with the slip anyways either when I bought it, so who gives a shit, right? Uh, Nick. <laughs> um, this one's Horrible Bosses 2. Uh, the extended cut. I thought it was just as good as the first one. Not any better, not any worse, really. Um, kind of the same sort of formula. Uh, you know, the three main stars kind of uh, make up their own business, and it kind of flops, and all sorts of funny shit ensues. So, uh, Horrible Bosses 2. And last but not least, out of my Go Hastings pickups, I have uh, Fanboys. If you haven't seen Fanboys, check it out. It's real funny. Uh, it's got Jay Baruchel, uh, Kristen, what's her name? Kristen Bell, uh, Sam Huntington. This, this kid played uh, Mimi Siku from uh, Jungle to Jungle back in the day, also in Detroit Rock City. Um, Christopher Marquette, who was in, um, what's that movie? The Girl Next Door. And Dan Fogler, I always think he's just a funny fat guy in all these movies from, what's that, Balls of Fury. <laughs> uh, but this movie's just about a bunch of kids, uh, a bunch of Star Wars fanboys that uh, are going on a road trip to kind of see the premiere of Phantom Menace back when Phantom Menace came out. Uh, back when they were doing the original trilogy, back for Star Wars, well, not the original trilogy, but the prequels. But real funny movie, it's got some good cameos with Seth Rogen in it too. Check out Fanboys. Uh, let's see, next stack. Uh, this is going to be my 
80s, 90s era stack, I don't know how I'll call it. Uh, this first one is Troop Beverly Hills with Shelly Long. Uh, they remastered this in 4K, and I don't think it's ever looked better than this. Um, and it's got Shelly Long, and she kind of get, she's getting divorced, and she doesn't know what to do with her life. And so these these bunch of the Girl Scouts needed a troop leader, so she kind of uh, just makes herself the troop leader. And it also has Craig T. Nelson from you know Poltergeist and Coach, and uh, one of the little girls is actually in this. Uh, I forget which one it is, but is actually the lead uh, singer in the band Rilo Kylie. If you guys are into indie music at all, uh, really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was really fun. It has a pretty cool little kind of cartoon intro done by the guy who did uh, Ren and Stimpy, John K. So, I mean, if you like late '80s, early '90s uh, cheesy fun family movies, check out True Beverly Hills. Next, I got a uh, nineteen. 19- Let's see, what year is this? 1982 classic. This one it has Steve Gutenberg, Daniel Stern, Mickey Rourke, Kevin Bacon, Timothy Daly, Ellen Barkin, and Paul Reiser. And that's Diner. Uh, finally got a Blu-ray release of this. Thank God. Um, this movie's really cool. It's about a bunch of uh, a bunch of guys after college, you know, just kind of making their way in the world. And they all meet up at the diner and, uh, you know, have gravy and fries all the time. And... Just real, real good movie, a real good um, coming of age film. So if you like coming of age films, uh, check out Diner. Uh, Barry Levinson directed this, a uh, real good director too. If you want to see Mickey Rourke before the wrestler, before he got all uh, beat up and changed his face a little bit, um, and it's probably the only movie that Steve Gutenberg isn't cheesy in. So uh, check out Diner, real good. Next, I got an early 90s grunge era sort of movie. Uh, this one has Bridget Fonda, Campbell Scott, Kira Sedwick, and Matt Dillon. And this one's called Singles. Uh, this one's directed by Cameron Crowe, who you know, of, uh, I think he wrote Fast Times at Ridgemont High, and I uh, know he directed Say Anything, so, um, and Almost Famous. But, uh, it's really, really good, another coming of age movie, honestly. But, uh, I mean, just look at Matt Dillon's hair in that, on the cover. How can you beat that? Uh, this this one has a lot of special features on it too. It has 25 deleted scenes, um, two complete take extras of Bill Pullman and uh, never before seen gag reel, three complete live performances from Soundgarden and Allison Chains. Um, yeah, Soundgarden, Allison Chains, and Pearl Jam are all in this movie. So if you like those kind of bands like Nir- like Nirvana, definitely check out Singles. Uh, you won't regret it. It's a real fun movie. Uh, next up, another one of my favorite movies. I have a lot of favorites, guys. Um, this one is Empire Records. Uh, awesome movie. Just awesome. Uh, the only gripe I have to say about this Blu-ray release is it doesn't come with the remix edition. I really like the remix edition as well as the theatrical version. They're both just two different, two totally different takes in the movie. Um, so I'll keep my DVD release of this uh, for that for that fact, but... Uh, has deleted scenes, three music videos, and theatrical trailers on it. Uh, you know, it's got Ethan Embry from uh, Dutch and uh, Can't Hardly Wait. And you got Liv Tyler, um, Robin Tunney from The Craft. Uh, what's his name? Rory Cochran from uh, Days and Confused. He's just got short hair in this movie. He's not a stoner either. And uh, Renee Zellweger back in the day. From back in the day, um, you know, before she got blown up with Bridget Jones's Diary and all that bullshit. But if you haven't seen this movie, it's about a bunch of uh, record record store uh, employees kind of just trying to save the record store. Really, really fun movie, Empire Records. One of my favorite classic, classic movie. Uh, next up, another really, really good movie. Uh, this one stars the band Kiss, and it's Detroit Rock City. So happy to own this on Blu-ray. And, you know, it's got Giuseppe Andrews, um, Sam Huntington again from... Uh, Jungle to Jungle, Mimi Siku, Edward Furlong, who you know from Terminator 2, and James DeBello, he really wasn't in much other other than this, but he does a pretty good performance as the, they're all just a bunch of stoners in this, but yeah, it's just a bunch of kids uh, trying to get to a KISS concert, and it's just really, really funny, really well-directed movie. If you have not seen Detroit Rock City, I don't know where you've been, because this is just a comedy gold classic right here. I love this movie. So glad to have it on Blu-ray. And uh, all the special features from the DVD are ported over, so that's a good thing too. Detroit Rock City, check it out. 
Uh, next we have a John Cusack movie. Uh, if you like Better Off Dead or Say Anything or One Crazy Summer, you're definitely going to like this Rob Reiner movie. Um, the Sure Thing. Uh, Shot Factory just put this one out. It's got a uh, 30th anniversary edition. Um, no new special features on it, but it's uh, got a real great transfer on it. If you like the film. It's also got Daphne Zaniga in it, and she's from Spaceballs. And it has a really good cameo from uh, Tim Robbins. So if, if you guys haven't seen this movie, uh, check it out. Basically, uh, John Cusack's character goes on a road trip to um, California, where his friend Anthony Edwards uh, dorms. And he has a sure thing waiting for him. Basically, this uh, bikini-clad model. Uh, sure thing, just ready for, you know, sex or whatever. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, on the road trip, uh, she joins in and then they end up, you know, falling for each other. But that's not, that's kind of a no-brainer. You can kind of tell from the cover. Uh, the sure thing, if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. It's definitely worth a buy. Uh, next is one of my top five favorite movies of all time. So glad to have this one on blue, and I got it with the uh, slipcover and not the uh, triple pack because I already have Weird Science, and that's the Breakfast Club 30th Anniversary Edition. This one is awesome. I'm so glad to see this digitally remastered. I had the 25th Anniversary Edition, but I scrapped that one for this one because this one just looks so much better. Um, fully restored from high, re high resolution 35mm original film elements. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a 4K transfer, but... I really don't care because it's just such a good looking transfer and you know if you can see my poster over there you know you know I love this movie Breakfast Club next uh, you know another John Hughes classic and that's 16 candles uh, I like to get all these on their own um, I like triple packs sometimes but you know when it's movies like this that I just cherish uh, would like to get them separately and I love 80s movies if you haven't seen this movie, you know, it's about Molly Ringwald you know, turning 16 and not, her family just doesn't pay attention that it's her 16th birthday because her, um, her sister's getting married and, you know, you got Anthony Michael Hall as the the geek and this guy plays Jake Ryan. I'm not sure his name is uh, Justin Henry, I believe. And, you know, if you if you know the character Long Duck Dong in this movie, you know, he just makes the movie. Uh... Classic John Hughes movie, 16 Candles. And last but not least on my old uh, classic uh, movies, this one is My Girl with Anna Klumski, um, Jamie Lee Curtis, Dan Aykroyd, and Macaulay Culkin. Very sad movie, but very, very good movie as well. I really didn't care for the sequel, but um, what can you do? <laughs> uh, this one's mastered in 4K also. And, you know, if you haven't seen this movie, it's definitely a tearjerker, but in the best way possible. I love my girl. Up next I have Criterion Hall. Um, this first one, uh, I got these all on a flash sale except for the last one that I'm going to show you. But, you know, they had a 50% off Criterion flash sale and you, you just can't beat those. Um, this first one's a three hour movie and it's Robert Altman film Shortcuts. Uh, this is the only DVD I have in this update by the way. Uh, this one has a lot of stars in it. It's got Andy McDowell, Bruce Davidson, Julianne Moore, Matthew Modine, Ann Archer, Fred Ward, Jennifer Jason Lee, Chris Penn, Lily Taylor, Robert Downey Jr., Madeline Stowe, Tim Robbins, Lily Tomlin, Tom, Tom Waits, Francis McDormand, Peter Gallagher, Annie Ross, Laurie Singer, Jack Lemmon, Lyle Lovett, Buck Henry, Huey Lewis. Uh, this is just one of those movies where, you know, you got a bunch of different stories and they all interweave with each other and, uh, just a bunch of really great performances in this one. If you guys haven't seen Shortcuts, check it out. I got it on uh, Netflix uh, like five or six years ago. Uh, you know, one of those uh, ones that I rented and got the disc at home. But such a good movie. I uh, haven't seen it since, so I'm definitely looking forward to checking it out again. Got some really cool back cover art there and a cool little booklet. So I, I never hear anybody talk about this movie, by the way. So uh, definitely check out Shortcuts. Uh, I was hoping for a Blu-ray release, but I just settled with the DVD for now. Uh, next, I have a Noah Baumbach picture. Uh, this one really surprised me. I always love Noah Baumbach. One of my favorite indie directors. And this one's Francis Ha. Um, Greta Gerwig does an awesome performance in this movie. And just such a good movie. Uh, I, love the, I love how it's in black and white, too. I could watch this movie over and over again. Francis Ha. If you like... Um, Next up, if you like Lena Dunham, 
you know, the girl from Girls who, who wrote and directed Girls, you'll probably like this one. It's Tiny Furniture. Um, pretty cool coming of age movie. I liked it a lot. It has four short films from Dunham as well. Uh, it's, it's got a lot of special features on it. But, uh, just really good movie and, uh, you can see kind of where she got her start before the before the show Girls was on on air on HBO. Uh, tiny Furniture. Uh, next up is a Clark Gable, uh, Francis Capra movie. Uh, you know the director of uh, It's a Wonderful Life. And this one's uh, It Happened One Night. And I heard this is just kind of a cool old school nineteen. Um, I think it's nineteen yeah nineteen thirty four. Uh, road trip movie. I heard it's a kind of a funny road trip comedy, kind of in the vein of like the Sure Thing, and I've uh, been wanting to catch up on some of my old school movies and black and white movies. Uh, gotta love Criterion for putting out these, and looking forward to checking this one out soon. It happened one night. And the last one I got here is Watership Down. Uh, Watership Down is really good. Uh, has really cool animation, really dark tone with it. A movie about a bunch of bunnies just kind of trying to uh, find their way. And it's from 1978. And it's, you know, it's rated uh, PG, but I don't know. It's definitely geared for adults. Check out Watership Down. Alright guys, next up we have a uh, movie from the, the Blue Connection, I believe. Uh, I wanted to get this one in a, in a better quality than the, just the standard Amore, even though there's, there's an Amore inside of it, but it has a cool slip cover, The Place Beyond the Pines. I really like this movie. If you haven't seen this one and you like Ryan Gosling, which, which I do, um, Derek C. on France directed this. He directed Blue Valentine as well. Uh, you got Ray Liotta, Bradley Cooper, Eva Mendez. I'm not a big Eva Mendez fan, but she worked in this one. Cool little slip cover, uh, slip case kind of thing. And has a little little arty card in there and a, a booklet as well um, really really like this movie place beyond the pines um, it's fucking phenomenal um, next up I have a pretty awesome steel book this one is a kimchi DVD uh, exclusive I believe eternal sunshine of the spotless mind this is the um, lenticular slipcover with that cool little lenticular slip going on there uh, it's got a cool front cool back everything it just you can just feel the quality of this this slip cover and the steel book need I say more um, I've seen a couple unboxings for this already so I'm not gonna really gonna do that for you um, today but I will show you the back art which I think is cool the disc is even pretty cool but it's got Kate Winslet and Jim Carrey on the back there I always like this movie. One of my favorite Jim Carrey movies. Uh, really glad to have this one in the special edition format on Blu-ray. And it also has Elijah Wood, um, Mark Ruffalo, Kirsten Dunst in it as well. But if you haven't seen Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, check it out. Uh, just like everybody else in the freaking world, I got Interstellar, guys. But <laughs> Matthew McConaughey, have not seen this one yet, so don't spoil it for me, assholes. Anyways, Michael Caine, Christopher Nolan, Need I Say More. I got the Neo Pack. I picked that one up. I picked it up a few days after it was released. So um, My Walmart had still had a couple copies, so I just walked in gracefully, picked it up. No rush, no nothing. Um, glad to have it. I love these uh, Neo Pack, um, Magno, whatever the fuck cases they are, but they're just awesome. I want to get the Gremlins one, and Natural Born Killers one looks really cool, but... I uh, started out with Interstellar as my first metal pack, or I know case. Next up, I have my um, horror movies, of course. You know, one of my mo my movie collection updates is not complete without horror movies. Uh, first one is Larry Cohen's God Told Me To. I really like this movie. This is a blind buy uh, from the same director that did the It's Alive trilogy. And... Basically, it starts off, um, this guy's sniper, has uh, a rooftop sniper, he's sniping random people throughout New York City, and when he gets caught, um, he tells the cop that God told him to whenever he asks, and it just goes from there, it just, you know, you got 
you got demons, you got craziness in this movie. This movie is insane. I uh, really liked it. I was surprised by it. Uh, the warning, uh, the film contains scenes of violence and intense horror. So that <laughs> definitely sums up this movie. God told me to. Uh, here we got some Scream Factories. Uh, this first one I watched the other day and it was really, really good. Uh, this one's from 1986 and that's Invaders from Mars. Toby Hooper movie. Uh, same director as Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, it stars Karen Black, uh, who you all know is a, you know, kind of a scream queen from back in the day. But, uh, really, really good movie. It's got, it's also got the uh, reversible artwork too. But, I like the new artwork better. I just like the feel of this artwork, it's pretty cool. But, it just has a lot of cool special effects in it, and if you like family-friendly horror movies that are kind of sci-fi oriented with the uh, weird aliens, really weird aliens, and the main alien in this movie reminds you of uh, Krang from um, Ninja Turtles, he looks just like it. Just really cool special effects, and Vanders from Mars. Uh, next up, I got the poster for this one too, collector's edition of Escape from New York. Um, you gotta love Snake Plissken, and you gotta love Kurt Russell. Uh, if you haven't seen this movie, check it out. I don't know where you've been if you haven't seen this one. John Carpenter classic right here. You got Isaac Hayes. You got Adrian Barbeau, Harry Dean Stanton. Um, oh, it's a, such a classic movie. Um, you got the reversible cover art there. You know, I'm so glad I got this one. Pre-ordered this with the poster. Um, and Griswold's, yes. Uh, I do have that baseball tee that uh, has has that same sort of artwork on it. From Fright Rags, so <laughs> you were right about that one in your last video. Um, check out Escape from New York, guys. Really glad to own this on a special edition. Alright, if you haven't seen this one, uh, just drop drop the video right now and just go go, go buy this movie. This is great. Great 80, early 80s cheese. Um, class in 1984, need I say more? Uh, you know, this one has this guy, Perry King. And, you know, he's a new, he's kind of the new teacher at the school. And there's a gang of thugs, you know, that kind of just do whatever the hell they want. You know, this, this school is bad. You know, they, they have metal detectors. This is back in 1982 when this movie was made. Metal detectors, people sneaking knives into school. Um, it's got a really, really performance from Michael J. Fox before Back to the Future as well. Uh, I've always really liked this movie. The theme song from Alice Cooper, it just gets stuck in your head and it's just a really cool song too. Um, yeah, so if you like teachers getting back at the students in very violent ways and punk era type 80s movies, check out Class 1984. It's got their cool reversible art as well. Gotta love that old school 80s art there. Um, I got this one with the poster as well. Be hanging that one up in my room soon. Class 1984. Come on. This next horror movie is 88 Films release, and that's uh, Slaughterhouse. Really like this one. Real fun slasher movie. I never saw this one back in the 80s, and it hasn't had a DVD release or anything that I know of. Um, Buddy has an axe to grind, a big axe, and he does. He hacks and slashes in this movie. I really liked it. Um, yeah, I really like what 88 Films does in the UK. Uh, really like their movies, and I like the Slasher Classics collection. The red casing is cool. I would like to collect them all, but that'd be kind of pricey. But anyways, Slaughterhouse. Up next, this movie kind of disappointed me, honestly, but I thought it was fun nonetheless, and that's Wolf Cop. Uh, basically, this you know cop turns into a, wolf, a werewolf, and he drinks liquor, and it's just one of those movies where you get a six-pack of beer with a bunch of friends and have a good time with. It's only 75 minutes, so I definitely recommend at least checking it out for the practical effects alone. Uh, Wolf Cop. Uh, this one's from Vinegar Syndrome, this next one, and it's a really, really cheesy 80s, uh, campy, backwoods type slasher. Don't go in the woods alone. Um, this much in picture depicts scenes of graphic violence. But yeah. This movie was so bad it's good. Just one of those, so bad it's good. And another one that just at the end of the movie, the song gets stuck in your head for days. I was humming this damn song for like 
the last the la week after I saw it. So uh, don't go in the woods alone. Don't go in this movie expecting greatness because it is just pure shit. But pure shit in the best way possible. Uh, this one I have not seen. I wanted a Mondo Macabro movie and I saw that this one was coming out and I kind of like the cover of it. Uh, this one's a German movie, I believe, and it's The Fan. It has uh, German or English dubbed um, audio, and you can, or you could also listen to it in German and uh, have the English subtitles playing. I'm gonna check this one out soon. It looks kind of cool. Um, got some sort of weird back imagery in this one, though. Um, let me know if you guys have seen this one, you horror fans down below. Uh, the Fan. All right. Uh, final stack here. This is these are my Amazon pickups for the month. Um, this first one's a triple feature. I had to get this one for seven ninety nine. You can't pass up uh, the Austin Powers trilogy, guys. Um, you got International Man of Mystery, Spider Shag Me, and Goldmember. Goldmember is my least favorite. Uh, not a big fan of Beyonce, to be honest. But uh, the first two are just comedy classics to me. And I know some people hate Mike Myers, but I do like him, except for the Love Guru. That was complete shit. But yeah, you can't go wrong. Seven ninety nine. It's got the triple feature slip cover on it too, so you know. Um, awesome powers. You need to see more. Uh, next, we have Billy Bob Thornton in um, kind of his take on Forrest Gump, in my opinion. But this is a uh, Sling Blade. He plays a uh, kind of a mentally challenged person in this movie, but it's a great role. Uh, got a little Billy Bob Thornton in this. Four eighty eight at Amazon. Couldn't pass that one up. Sling Blade. Uh, next up, I got a couple double features. Um, this first one has my favorite disaster movie of all time, and that's Dante's Peak up at the top here. Uh, it's got Pierce Brosnan and Linda Hamilton in it. Um, really, really good one. I have not seen Daylight, but you know it was, there was eight, seven eighty eight, I think, for um, both of these movies, and I think that's the same price as the Dante's Peak by itself. So couldn't pass that one up. Um, if you haven't seen Dante's Peak, check it out for the good, it's just a good, fun, cheesy disaster movie. Uh, this next double feature I have is uh, 28 Days Later, 28 Weeks Later. Uh, I really like the first one. I uh, haven't seen the second one in a while, but I know it's not nearly as good. Uh, the first one's directed by Danny Boyle and stars Killian Murphy. Uh, I think it's his, his kind of his breakout role in this movie, but uh, really, really fun movies to watch. 788 as well, great deal. 28 days later, 28 weeks later. Uh, final two movies. Um, they both star the same actor, Michael Angarano, uh, who you might have uh, seen a couple movies from in my last couple updates. But this one stars Juno Temple in him, and it's The Brass Teapot. This movie is really fun. Uh, I watched this on Netflix uh, almost two years ago now. But they had a Magnolia film uh, sale on Amazon, and I had to pick this one up. Um, they kind of find this brass teapot in a pawn shop, I think, and and they find out later on that if they hurt themselves, the pot the pot just grows money inside of it, and so they beat the living shit out of each other in this movie and just gain more and more money. Uh, silly premise, I know, but it's just, it's just such a fun movie just seeing what these these guys are just down on their luck, and you know they have no money at all, and it's just funny seeing what they do whenever they do get the money from from the teapot. Uh, <laughs> just a really fun, weird comedy. Brass Teapot. Final movie. Have not seen this one. Uh, another Michael Angarano movie with Uma Thurman. This one has Lee Pace as well. The guy from Halt and Catch Fire, if you've seen that show. And Guardians of the Galaxy. This one is Ceremony. Um, looking forward to checking this one out. Uh, seems like a decent comedy. Kind of dramedy or something. Um, yeah. So... That's my haul for, you know, all of March and the beginning of April, guys. Um, if you have not already, you know, um, comment down below, like, uh, subscribe. I've reached over 100 um, subscribers already, and that's a great thing, in my opinion. I love, I love each and every one of you. Um, especially, you know, give, I gotta give a shout out to Griswolds again, you know. I gave him a shout out a couple of videos ago, but... You know, he he just shot me out once, so I'm gonna shoot him one right back. So, subscribe to Griswolds. We have a, we have similar tastes in horror movies and everything. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'll see you next time.